Hello everyone, this is Talk Time with Cynthia. I'm coming today, um, I see, I guess y'all see my neighbor's fence. I'm using my neighbor's fence as a backdrop. But, um, I know it's been a while since I've been on just trying to, like I said, get acclimated with this new normal that, um, everybody's got going on. Y'all know how it is. Um, sometimes it ain't easy to, uh, <clears throat> have it just work right away. So you have to work at it until you get it to work. Okay, so... Today, I want to talk on um, some issues that I've been hearing on uh, YouTube and seeing some things on Facebook and, you know, uh, Instagram and Twitter, how um, us as black people are being really affected by this uh, coronavirus. Um, and I just want to uh, speak on that and kind of reiterate some things that I've been hearing or whatever and to reinforce it to my viewers on um from my platform <clears throat> um but first of all i just want to uh repeat something that i heard and that's not the first time i've heard it but i just want to give credit to where i've heard it from today and i was looking at um <clears throat> uh, um on youtube uh Nene Leaks have a new a channel that she's uh doing where she's saying um cocktails uh cocktails and conversation with Nene. A bee just flew around my head, so y'all, if I start what I'm screaming and yelling, y'all know why. Okay, so I'm trying to I'm trying to get out of the way of this sun a little bit so y'all can see me better. But this sun is about to drive me crazy. I'm gonna try to get over here so so. <clears throat> y'all can see me a little better, you know, and I'm not so shiny, because like I said, my skin is like an oil factory, <clears throat> so anyway, so what, um, Tamar was saying on, uh, cocktails and conversation with Nene, was that you gotta treat people, you have to teach people how to treat you, right, so, uh, uh don't ever sit and let somebody say something or do something and, and you don't appreciate it and that's not a part of who you are and you accept it and you move on. And just so, <clears throat> excuse me. Y'all, I have allergies really bad, so I just want to let y'all know that. Real bad allergies, so I, if you'll hear me every now and then just clear my throat, I don't have a choice. So I do apologize for that. But don't ever sit and let somebody... Say something toward you or about you, and you don't straighten them on it. And then it doesn't have to be a neck roll or eye roll about it or whatever. But it's just that even if you have to put them to the side, even after the fact or whatever, you say, "Hey, listen, this is this is the situation, and I didn't appreciate that, and that's 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 not what I'm going to tolerate." You know, and, and you talk to them calm and in, in a decent manner. Hold on a second, guys. But under no un uncertain um, circumstances that you allow somebody to put you in a space where you are uncomfortable. You understand what I'm saying? So I just want to uh, move that out of the way. And I guess that too uh, kind of connects with what I want to talk about, about um, us being affected by this virus. Because if we don't speak up and, and allow people to know that we're not just going to lay back and die or we're not going to lay back and not be um get what we deserve because we are pack taxpayers too so yeah we we do need to come to the to the conclusion of nobody's gonna help us we gotta help ourselves i get that but if i'm paying my taxes and um when i go to the grocery store and and i buy a a, a item and or whatever it is and it's taxed onto that then that means the government is getting my money. And so when I get into a situation that the government uh, should and is obligated to uh, bail me out or whatever they're doing to help everybody else, they got to help me too because I pay my taxes too. I am an American citizen too. I vote too. You understand what I'm saying? And like I said, 
I don't want to come off as if I'm having an attitude, but I do want to come off as being serious about what I'm saying. And because I just feel like this is no joking matter when we as African Americans are hit the hardest and we're being paid the less attention to. Because, like they say, like Governor Como in New York is, um, he was saying on, on one of his um, conferences that he had, he said the places that are hit the most are the most uh, the people who need the most attention. So my point is about this is that if y'all don't pay attention to us, and I hate to put it in that in that mind frame of y'all, if we are not paid attention to, and we still have the virus, guess what? It doesn't go away because at some point we gonna come in contact with other races of people and it's gonna it's gonna go on and on. It ain't gonna end. So, uh, in order to be able to um, eradicate this thing, you can't uh, allow it to be. A racial or a or, 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 uh, systemic racist situation. You just have to um, try to just in every corner that it is. You have to try to go in each race that it is and eradicate it. Because when we were seeing, okay, it's China over there, and uh, China the one got it, and and we ain't worried about it because it's over there. Eventually, right? Look how far China is away. Eventually, it got over here to where we are, right? So that's what you have to think about. Because, like, just think about, like, where I am, the, the, where I live at. I live in Florida, right? And how far is Florida from China? But it made it, it made its way here. So that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. So then, okay, so I just want to talk about how, you know, the things that we should do as um, a people, as the human race. And then I want, and, but first I want to address what we can do as African American because I really feel like that if we start at home and do what we have to do at home and um, take care of what we have to do at home, then when we try to connect and, and to other people, then we'll be more of a help. You understand what I'm saying? And then so, if, but if you're in a situation where you 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 are one of the races that is not as hard hit then you can reach beyond uh where you are and try to help to make sure that your um senators your congressmen the uh, president of the united states is really being fair on every level because if we don't we will be utterly destroyed and, and, and yeah, we might be looking at now what, just like before when it first started, people were saying, okay, only Caucasians can get it. But now we see that that's not true. People will walk around and saying, okay, we can't get it, so we ain't worried. Okay, so now look, look what happened. So it flipped on its head, and now the people who were saying we can't get it is the one who getting it the most. So, and that's what my platform is about. And I've always said, we need to come together as one. We we can't come together as separate. We can't do that. Now it, it now, but I will say that um, in order to be one race to help another, that particular race has to come strong. You can't come broken and destroyed within your race and think you're gonna help another race. You can't do that. What you have to do, you have to fix on your race first and make sure your race is powerful enough to be able to give the power as we come together as a whole but if you come trying to fix it and you are not up to snuff up to par then you're, you're going to be more of a hinder than a help so remember that part and I really wanted to emphasize that too so but um and um just and then I want to talk about different things that we could do you know for us um having to stay home and having to stay at home and, and having um social distances and all of that and so i'm gonna be speaking on a lot so this might be a long video so y'all just hanging there with me and um but what i want to say uh don't forget to comment like and subscribe and number and the, and i just want to say thank you to my i got one more subscriber so i'm excited about my one subscriber look i celebrate 
every single subscriber that I get. You understand what I'm saying? Because I appreciate them because they could be doing something else. They could be listening at somebody else on their channel, but they decided they, you know, they like what I'm saying and they want to come hang out with me. And I, listen, I don't mind people coming hang out with me because I love people, right? So without further ado, let's, let's get uh, started on some of the things that I want to say. And I hope that it don't sound like I'm jumping around, which I probably will be, but I just want to try to stay on track. Um, because it's a, it's a lot of stuff that I want to talk about. And I have a list here that I will be reading from the list. And I might, you know, be looking for different things or whatever. But I just want to make sure that my viewers um, is up to date on how I feel about things. And things that we should be doing to do, to do our part. You know, because everybody have a part that they have to do. We can't just sit back and, and say, well, look at them over there and... I'm okay over here, so it doesn't matter. It does, because you could just go and touch a counter somebody else touch and be infected. You understand what I'm saying? You could be just walking around without symptoms, and you could be a carrier, and then somebody get infected. So we have to, just that, just like Yara uh, from, um, what is it, Grownish, uh, she said you have to walk around as if not that somebody else is infected, but that as if you're yourself infected so that's how you have to walk around right so okay so on what my list first on my list so I'm, like i said i might be jumping around um um so looking out for people right like the prisoners we have to look out for our prisoners it, it just it really doesn't make sense because guess what eventually they're gonna get out they're gonna come home they're gonna have the virus if we don't make sure that we give them soap hand sanitizer, um, get them social distancing somehow, I don't know how, and then also the people that are not uh, in prison, if, if they in jail, not in prison, in jail, and they have, um, they can't get out because they can't make bail, let them go. We, we gotta, we gotta make sure that as long as let me make let me bring it back as long as it's not some crime that they killed somebody or they molested some child or something like that but something silly about a uh, uh, ran a red light or didn't have ID or something crazy like that you know it might not have been crazy at that time but at this time to hold on to them in the prisons and these this stuff is uh the sickness is running rampant in there. It makes no sense to hold on to somebody that you can get out of there to try to help eradicate and stop this thing from spreading so fast, regardless if they're white, black, psychedelic, orange, purple, or striped, whatever it is. We just have to make sure that um, we do everything possible to get this thing under control. And, and by allowing them people to stay in there and then they come out and they're not treated and they come in contact with their, their loved ones, their grandmothers with underlying conditions and their children with underlying conditions and then they go out and they get in contact with somebody and it's just like a, a chain, uh, a domino effect. And so then it's just like we never, uh, we never, um, uh, try to take care of the situation because why because now we there's people that we didn't pay attention to and who's getting sick and who's dying aside from the fact that them coming out and and, and affecting other people they're in there dying they're dying and nobody's treating them just think if it was your loved one just think if if um you was in that situation, um, even if you wasn't in in jail or prison, and you wasn't in that situation, and somebody allowed you to die, somebody allowed your loved one to die. Be empathetic. Put yourself in people's place. Don't allow um, the enemy to talk to your mind and to make you feel like it's okay just because somebody committed a crime or supposedly committed a crime or regardless of how small it is it's a crime but this this is nothing to play with so just understand that so like i said just just know that even regardless of what even the ones who are child molesters who are uh murderers who who are rapists or whatever you know it's and people might not understand this incident but they are still human beings 
and we are still human beings and we have to be humane right so you got to think about it that way and then um and just think about um stay, like with the young people and trying to keep the young people to stay safe and not feel like that um it doesn't affect them where well, people who from 20 to 30 to 45 years to 50 years old is getting infected and dying from it. So don't walk around feeling like that you're, you can't be affected by it because you can be. And especially if you have underlying condition, it could be asthma, you could be diabetic, um, um, any, any, anything, or I don't know. I, I, I don't have a list, but anything that compromise your immune system, like a, even a cold, maybe even allergies. I'm not sure because I know I have allergies. But it's just like you you just can't be careful what that underlying condition consists of. Um, and also, uh, like I say, take, take it serious. Don't be walking around still uh, drinking at the people, still smoking at the people, uh, still still hanging out, still uh, having intercourse with people. Uh, you just, uh, just try to stay, excuse me, treat, still try, uh, try to stay as much to your corner as you possibly can. And um, uh, let's see, it says okay. And, you know, look out for each other. You know, like, if you have a neighbor, and I've been seeing this on my channel, if you have a neighbor and you feel like that they can't get out like they should or they sick or anything or they in the hospital and they need their lung or something done or, or anything you can help out without getting too close or whatever or if you can put on your gloves and your mask and, and something on your hair and your shoes or whatever and um, something on your clothes and you can help, help. You understand what I'm saying? As long as you're not feeling like that you're going to be infected and you can take it somewhere else. Now, we're not trying to tell you to threaten your, um, put yourself in a threatening situation. That's not what we're trying to do. Okay? Because, um, anybody can get infected. So, and people are walking around feeling like that they, they're the ones that, because their immune system is so strong that they can't get infected. Even if that's so, and you're walking around and you're not being careful, and then you get infected, you become a carrier. Then if you got a grandmother, a sickly grandmother, a sickly mother, father, grandfather, then you can get them infected and they can die. And so, and we've had that happen a lot. So, but yeah, so, um... And then to help with all of this and and everything and the fact that we can't, uh, some of our cities are on lockdown and we can't go anywhere, or oh, a lockdown, stay at home, whatever you want to call it, and then and we can't go anywhere. So uh, what we have to do is um just just figure out how to uh, um entertain yourself as much as possible, right? And sometimes we. Uh, probably don't have time for entertainment especially those ones that have kids because the kids um have the school uh work and i know y'all was glad when monday came no was it monday no wednesday came when they had um here in florida let me just say that because i don't know anywhere they had a a, a three-day uh they're gonna have a three-day weekend and I know y'all was so excited that y'all didn't have to get on them computers and figure out how to get that work and, and, and upload it and then, and then send it to the teacher or whatever. They got my daughter's in the 12th grade. And so she know how to do like all of that. I'm telling you, ever since this child been in school, uh, after learning the ABCs and, and basic math and everything, she's had it on her own ever since my oldest. It was different, but my youngest, she never need my help. I think it was one, maybe maybe two times she came to me for help. And you talking about an A student? This child is an A student, and I just and that's not a brag. It's just like a praise God because I've been right there with y'all trying to figure out that math, that math. Y'all know what I'm talking about, that math, right? So, but anyway, yeah. So, but it is it's, it's crazy though, and um, so. So, but what I'm saying is, um, things that we can do, you know, be creative, right? Um, things that you know that you love to, don't stress so much. Just, just find the things that you've been 
been waiting to do and been wanting to do. And like you, maybe you have some things that you have packed back to you might have, might have forgotten about. And pull that out and just be creative. And because and we all have a creative side. Whether it's running your mouth like me. Or, <laughs> or um, you know, painting, drawing, or... Um, um, doing hair or coming up with different hairstyles, coming up with different ideas. Um, um, did I say writing? I think I did say writing. But yeah, it's it's a lot of cooking, you know, or anything or some cleaning that you've been wanting to do. You wanted to clean, pull out that closet. Um, something, some things that fell off the bathroom wall, and you was like, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna fix that one day. Things like that, or the car outside, you can fix it for the men folk, or women folk, or whatever. We we don't want to uh, uh, discriminate. Um, fi- fix up that, you know what I mean? So that way you you won't uh, get bored and feel like you need to go out in the streets and and and, and um, end up uh, passing some germs or something along. Um, and then, like I said, you could read. I, I think I said you could read books. I don't know. My fingernails look crazy, y'all. Sorry about that. And then, um, or, or, this is my favorite one right here. Um, if you've had in the back of your mind that you wanted to start a business or something, you know what I mean? Start a business and, um, and, uh, and, and, you know, you've had ideas or something that, that you've been thinking about for quite some time and, and you've been wanting to start a business or whatever. This is a great time. And there is opportunities and funds out there. It's 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 a lot of stuff on Facebook or on or, or you can Google. And um, for instance, Teespring is a T-shirt company. If you're really good at thinking about up phrases and things, and um, comment down below and let me know if that's something that you're interested in, because I have my own T-shirt company. So if you're interested in that, I can give you all the information that you need. To um get um uh, connected to Teespring and um start your own T-shirt company. Oh, oh y'all, I just not let it. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I just let it fall. But if you're interested in your T-shirt company, and I can give you that all all that information. If you're interested, just let me know. Comment down below, okay? And uh, technology, yeah. Um, you know, if if you're into the video games or learning more about the computer or different things like that. And then, um, let me see what else I said. Oh, I said we are all connected and can be infected. Remember that. I mean, you might think you're living on 10 buck 2 or this, that, or the other. Go out one time and touch one thing and you're infected. So, just, we're all connected, guys. We got to love one another. We can't be sitting up and be acting like... That one is better than the other. We are all human beings. We all hurt. We all have pain. You cut me, I'm going to bleed. I cut you, you're going to bleed, right? So we got to realize that. And just, just we got to be, we, we, we got to pull toward one another. We are your brothers and sisters. We are hurting. We are in pain. Y'all have to reach out and, and grab a hold and, and do something within your power to help. And the same thing for us with y'all. We all. I'm not just talking about one race. I'm talking about every race. And especially about the race that is affected. African American people, let's do better. Okay? And I want to speak on that in a minute about that. Okay? I, I, I really want to talk about that. So let me go ahead on and... um. First of all, I want to say this. <clears throat> we are, as African Americans, we are affected the most. And simply because, um, I'm not just seeing us because other races too, but we are at, um, by largely more affected because we have more underlying diseases, right? We have diabetes. We are the only one that can get sickle cell. Um, we have, um, high blood pressure, we have hypertension, I mean, all of this stuff, we eat more pork and meats and stuff than a whole <clears throat> a whole lot of race, and then sometimes we exclude vegetables and stuff out of our 
diet. And I'm not finger pointing. I'm not trying to be judgment or anything. I'm just trying to give information that I know that will be helpful. That it, that things that I know that I had to do to get myself right. Because like I said when I first started this when I first started this channel back up, that um I had been sick and I had to uh work on my own diet to make my my uh, quality of life better, right? So, and first of all, uh, like I said, we have to um, make sure we have our daily vitamins. Uh, we have to ha make sure we have a um, probiotic for our stomach. I don't know if y'all ever heard of stomach flora. Well, your stomach flora, you have to make sure your stomach flora is healthy because whatever goes into your stomach, and if your stomach flora is not healthy, your, your probiotics in your stomach, if it's not healthy, then it's not going to fight off anything that, or, or, or make sure stuff that comes into your stomach works well that goes into the rest of your body with your heart, your lungs, your kidneys. Your stomach floor is very important. So you have to have probiotics and, and you have to have probiotics, um, taper to you your age limit so that you will get the proper amount so you have to do that too so you have to go to like a, a nature food store or a vitamin shop or paradise health or wherever that vitamin shop is wherever you live those are the ones where i live so but you just have to make sure that you work on you you, you can't walk around Drinking a whole bunch of sodas, a whole bunch of alcohol. You you can't walk around eating a whole bunch of uh, candy, cookies, and chips, and think that uh, whenever your immune system want to take and buck on you, that um you're gonna be able to fight whatever comes your way when your immune system is down and fighting for itself. So you're gonna have to make sure you eating properly. You're gonna have to make sure that you're uh, doing whatever it takes. So. When it comes time for your body to fight off a germ, a virus, or whatever, that it is strong enough to do so. So you got to make sure you do that. And I know, I, I bet some of y'all been saying, well, I just seem like I'm fussing all the time. I'm not. But that's just, that's just the way I, I uh, talk or whatever. And then I can tone it down, too. I'm working on it, y'all. Working on it. But y'all know I love y'all. Uh, I wouldn't be saying all this. And I'm saying it because I love y'all. And so, yeah, you have to work on your immune system, and it's not too late. A lot of people feel like, okay, I already got hypertension. I already got diabetes. I already, um, I'm already got high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Well, no, you can still work on those things. As long as you got breath in your body, you can work and make sure that your body is strengthened. And, and it's a, it's a uh, myth that once it's, it's done, it's done. No, because, you know, sometimes you could just lay still and meditate. And that's important too, meditation. You, you could sit sometimes and meditate and allow your body to heal itself because your body is designed to heal itself. So never think that it's too late, right? And then there's prayer. But God, right, y'all? But God. <laughs> you got to remember that part too. And then, so, um, like I said, this, I hope it don't seem too much all over the place, but I'm just trying to hit every subject. And like, and for, for the young people that won't settle down and stay their behinds in the house, mine ain't left since they got home since the last time she had, had, had to go to work, but they've been in the house, right? She, I think one time she went out cause she had to make a deposit into her bank account. But of course, um, if you need to, uh, you can, she have, um, cause it was like a check she had, but. Or her income tax check that came in the mail. But, um, if you have, um, online banking, you can do everything online banking. Okay. So, but the point I want to make about the kids. Okay. So we looking at the kids and, and seeing what they doing. And I'm thinking in my mind, the whole time we're talking about, well, the kids is this and the kids are that. I'm thinking to myself, well, where is the parent? What is the parent saying anything? Is they saying anything? You know, I do realize that, you know, they get to be uh, 18, 21, 24, whatever. But if they in your space, period, period, and if they your child, period, you should have something that you got to say. Understand? You don't understand what I'm saying? I mean, because this is this not like your everyday thing. You know, let them figure it out along the way. They, if you this, you let them figure it out. They might be end up dead by the time they think they got it figured out. So, parents... Talk to your kids and try to get them to understand the seriousness of the situation. Have your literature. 
and things that you need to show them proof because some of them, yep, every one of us got one of them that needs some proof. You might have one that might listen to you, but every one of us have one of them that needs some proof of what we talking about. Y'all know the one because everybody got one, a child that, that is just like that. So y'all know what I'm talking about. So, but anyway, um, so yeah, so parents, uh, uh, talk to your children, talk to your children, and, and they get younger and younger, not thinking they grown, so uh, and, and don't want to listen. So talk to you, talk to them, talk to them, please, okay. And so, but yeah, but us as as black people, we really have to start working on our health. We really need to start um be proactive. And um, hopefully you will have a doctor that your doctor take it serious when you're feeling like you're sick. And, and I was hearing too on YouTube where people felt like when they went and sick and their doctors, they wasn't listen, really listening to them. And they felt like their doctor wasn't taking them serious. And so uh, sometimes even though you feel like your doctor is not taking you serious, you still have to um, uh, be... Um, aggressive not aggressive what what word i'm trying to think of a word um not aggressive but um you have to be more forthcoming and and make them understand and believe you you don't leave there until they admit you or whatever you feeling like is wrong with you because you have to survive yourself you have to make sure that you, that uh, you're, you're not ended because of some doctor feeling like that you can handle whatever it is happening to your body because you know your body better than anybody know your body. And, 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 and don't feel bad about making somebody understand that you really do feel sick because it's not fair for them to turn you away and then somebody else come with a whole same symptom that you got, and they accepted them because they feeling like that. They can't take it because they feel like you're stronger. They, this disease has nothing to do with weak and strong when when the weak and, and, or, or the people who consider them the weak and strong and they both are sick. Treat them equally, and that's to the doctors out there. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, so... I'm just looking at my my sheet here, whatever. And like I said, we're we're black people, and we are survivor, and we we've survived this thing, this type of stuff before. So I say we know how to survive this, the the hard and the difficult. And so it it serves right for us to be able to come together and connect with people who might not. Uh, might be afraid and not might not have dealt with this type of thing. Maybe the, somebody and I, and I don't want to, you know, try to um, be like poor rich. But maybe there's some rich person that's that's never had to deal with this type of thing and never had to felt like they had any like in their life. And then we who have had to like and have overcome, we could be a help. You understand what I'm saying? So it makes no sense to feel make people feel like uh or feel like um that big eye little you or we better than you over here because this thing don't care who better this virus do not care who's better this all this virus is 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 want to know if, if you have a, a compromised immune system it's because i'm outside though. but that all this virus want to know if you have a, a compromised immune system and it won't find a place to nest and it don't care how much money you got. It don't care how less money you got. It don't care about none of that. All it care about is is um growing and increasing. So we just have to um be able to come together. Us us who know how to survive, how to survive with those who do not know how to survive. I, I gotta get it. it's something I'm not. It's kind of hard for y'all to see me unless I'm I'm not looking at it right. But um. I mean, up so those of us who got tools that can help the other, we should be. Um, I'm trying to get so y'all can see me. It's kind of crazy because I'm outside in the sun. It's doing a weird thing right now, so I'm trying to get in a space where y'all can see me. But yeah, so um, us who know how to survive, um, help those who of us that's never been in a in a, in a precarious situation. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, none of us should be in a space. Well, let me go here. 
None of us should be in a space where we feel like there's no way we can go. It's too many people on planet Earth for any of us to feel like that we ain't got nobody that can help us. You understand what I'm saying? Because I always say, it's, it's, it's my turn today, but it's your turn tomorrow. It always come back around. I don't care how much money you get. And this is a prime example for uh, folks feeling like they got a whole bunch of money. People who is filthy rich is leaving this world. You understand what I'm saying? People with m multiple opportunities is leaving this world. People who who um just don't have a care in the world is leaving this world through this virus. So... Let's reach out and help each other. So, like I said, my turn today, your turn tomorrow. You don't know where this virus going to end up at. So, y'all just, just be loving and kind and, and just spread love and peace and joy. Um, just, just let people know you love them and just reach out to people. And like I said, at this point in time, we can't. Uh, physically uh, reach out or whatever but check on your family and your friends if you go into the store just like Yara said from um, blackish and um, um, grownish she's like if you go into the, to the uh, grocery store and you know um, you contact your friend and say hey I'm, I'm going to for a grocery run um, is there anything you need that way it eliminates people from having to go outside and spray it possibly spread more you understand what i'm saying okay there i go right there but so so it's just different things that you could think of that could be helpful and then like i said you know with your gifts and stuff you know everybody got a gift figure out what that is you got a purpose figure so and, and you know how sometimes we so busy living an everyday life and stuff we we ain't got time to figure out no gift because we're trying to feed children <laughs> i said children we find it, trying to feed children, trying to make sure that light bill is paid, make sure the water bill is paid, make sure that car payment is paid, making sure the mortgage is paid. So now we're sitting, and we can look at it as our glass half full or our glass half empty. We can look at it either way. And this is just an opportunity of free time. Uh, what what they say, um, time, time uh, air and opportunity, right? So now we got all the air we need and, and consider the opportunity to pull out them gifts that you done hear for years and years because you're just trying to take care of your family and you maybe you got pregnant and, and you're like, okay, so now I'm just putting that on the back burner. And sometimes it takes month, a couple of months, sometimes it takes a few weeks to figure it out. Just sitting and just really um, talking to God about it and, and figuring out, you know, what it was that you was so passionate about and and where are the opportunities now? Now you have time to sit up and get on this computer. Use technology and and um um, um Google things and, and figure out what it is. I mean, like I said, your T-shirt company and you and on that same T-shirt uh, uh, company, you can make cups, you can make um totes, um anything. And and especially if you if you um. Want to help somebody out with COVID nineteen? You can put that on a shirt or something, and and, and sell that, and then do uh, the, you can do fundraisers on that same site. So it's a lot of things. So like I said, if you if you want to know about that, uh, comment down below, and I'll give you the information. Oh, that's a bird, and I'll give you the information or whatever you need. See the bird? Let me see if I can show them to y'all. You see him up there? A bird up there. Y'all see that bird up there? Let me see. Yep, he up there saying hey. I hope y'all see it. So, oh, he gone now. But, yeah, so, but, yeah, um, so it's, you know, it's just a time for, you know, to find out what it is that, that you love to do and didn't, didn't have time to do because like, it was just so much life going on. So, but, yeah. So um, that's pretty much um, the stuff I wanted to say. Oh, and then another thing is um, to our government, you know, write to your government and tell them that um, even if you feel like your race ain't being affected or whatever, or you even live in a whole nother country, even if we are infected and, and we start flying and stuff like that, 
and we and, and we still are infected, well, we're going to fly over to wherever y'all at and bring it right on back. So if you're in another country or anything and, um, and you got a platform, um, say, um, speak up, you know, say what it is that you need to say to make sure that people get it and they understand and they're treating everybody and they're just not isolating and treating certain different groups and, and, and that they feel like that they appreciate. We all are one. We all are one human race all over the world. So even if, because this that's just what I do, even if my race was the last one affected, I would still be on my platform saying exactly what I'm saying now because if you go through my videos... You will see that I've always spoke this. I've always said this, that we need to come together and be as one race instead of being separated. Because we just need to love each other. You understand what I'm saying? This is what we need to do. And this is long time past overdue. And you never know. And and, and I don't want to uh, say some crazy stuff, but I just feel like sometimes things happen for a reason. You understand what I'm saying? To wake us up and make us realize that... So the way that we are is not the right way. Not to put nothing on anybody, but the way that we are is not the right way. You understand? Hating each other, looking down on each other, um, big eye little you, um, 1%, uh, 99%, you know, the 1% is rich and the 99% is poor or uh, uh, whatever, middle class, or uh, um, middle class, um, first class, um, uh, poor, or whatever. None of that should be. None of that should be. None of it. We should all be equal. And we should all be willing and able, willing, really willing, ready, and able to give a helping hand regardless of what and who it is. You understand? I'm not saying we all going to be walking around here rich, this, that, and the other. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying if it came to a point where somebody is in need or need to somebody to help them to learn a trade. And I'm not all, talking about always talking about somebody giving out a dollar, this, that, and other. Sometimes just to be able to say, I'm not going to block you from this opportunity. Um, okay, I know how to do this. Let me teach you how to do this. This was uh, 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 helpful for me. Let me allow you to learn it so it could be helpful for you. Okay, th there's uh, positions that are uh, uh, available um, don't block people from getting positions that are available. It's just so much stuff that we can do as human beings to make the world a better place. And to me, sometimes things happen uh, uh, catastrophically to wake us up and remind us that it was them today and tomorrow it could be us. You understand what I'm saying? So that's all, y'all. And I love y'all so, 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 so much. And I just see such great things for us. And I do know you have people that say and things that ain't going to never change. It's going to always be like this, blah, 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 blah. And I think a lot of times they say that so that can get inside of our heads. And so we can all think that. And so we can all perpetuate that and don't even realize that that's what we're doing. But um, we can do better and we can be better, y'all. So come on, let's, let's just pull together and be loving, kind, and the wonderful person that I know that we could be we could be wonderful amazing people toward one another right so um that's all I want to say guys but anyway uh don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to tell your family and your friend what your girl sin is doing because your girl sin is keeping it popping over here on the positive side y'all know how we do right y'all know how we do we keep it popping with love understanding um, compassion and just if you want a place like that to come hang out come hang out over here with me because listen that's what we do over here we don't discriminate we don't say black white we don't say asian we say all all of us come on hang out with us y'all and we'll love you so much and talk to you later love you babies bye bye